All praises to Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai, Barsham Makaka Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson on how Esau is <clears throat> just a weirdo, man. And you can see the title here, right? And it uh, says um, Dominic, Dominic Ingle, which is a, who is a boxing trainer, right? Drinks Kells, which it's referring to Kelbrook Sweat. He drinks, he drinks Kelbrook Sweat, man. And like that's just a weird old thing to do, man. I'm just going to play, I'm, I'm going to play the video, all right? I'm going to play the video. Ring, we got some ring into the glass. That's it, into the glass, right? We're gonna sell that on eBay. So that's the that's the sweat. 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 On the concentrated. That Listen, on the nineteenth, we're gonna get the blood and the tears, but that's gonna be from calm. Yeah. But this is just your. You're giving up the sweat. You can give the blood and the tears. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we're alright for this on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. Put that on eBay. Look at that. Look at that stuff there. Yeah. In fact, down it, down, yeah. down it, you ready? Down it. You see what I mean? Like, that's just the, the that's the ways of Esau, man. What what are you doing? Yeah, drinking. It's 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 weird and bugged out to drink your own sweat, right? Never mind another another geezers, right? Never mind another man's sweat, right? And you had even an Israelite back in the back in the day when um Floyd Mayweather was fighting um one Manuel Marquez, man, and he drank his own urine leading up to that leading up to that fight, man, and even that's off. Right? But this guy's drinking drinking another man's sweat, man, and this is just ultimately the ways of Esau, man. Like that Jack Grant, one Manuel Marcus is an Israelite, and he was copying the type of things that an Edomite would do when he did that. But that's weird, man. And that that video just made me think upon Esau and like how he's just but he's just not right, man. He's just the ways of Esau are just he's just a weird old man, right? He's just a weirdo. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat stole his birthright. Right? Esau just, there's, he, there's just something not right about this guy, man. All right? For he know that how afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he, re he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And Esau is doing this kind of stuff on camera, right? For so-called bants and jokes. Right, so what would he do behind the scenes for banter and jokes, man? Right, what are these elites doing behind the scenes for jokes and for a laugh and for power and for riches? What are they doing behind the scenes, man? And that's why Kelbrook, who is an Israelite, by the way, right, he shouldn't, he, he should have not even really, like, it's not even really good for an Israelite to be trained by Edomite, even in sports and all of that, man, because an Edomite's gonna be put in their bogged out ways. On an Israelite, and it's just gonna seem bugged out. Like Kel Brook's running around talking about chocolate brownie, this and all of this talk that he does, right? And he that's that's part of the reason why he gets his ass whooped when he comes up against Jake's man, because he ain't got the he ain't he ain't under that Israelite vibe, man. Even when it comes to fighting, for the most part, he's always lost his bigger fights. He's always lost his bigger fights, man. Apart from uh, one 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 of them. And this, this video is not about boxing, but it's just like, it made me think about how Esau is just a weirdo, man. He's just a strange individual, man. The things that he gets up to, he's just a bunch of weirdo, bogged out activity, man. And I'm, I'm trying to think of another scripture right now to like, go into this lesson, but that's aggravating, man. Like, it's aggravating me that he even did that. He's bogged out, man. I don't understand why you would do that for. And we, we already know that these Edomites do worse, even worse than that. But they're just annoying, man. They're just annoying. Here, here we go. I got a scripture for this. Going into these Edomites, man. This is Job chapter nine and verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. When the when the when the wicked are ruling the earth, right? Because they've covered the faces of the true judges, which is the Israelites. They're gonna be able to put their bogged out demonic way. Upon the earth, they're gonna be able to keep their bugged out rules and their weird, weird things that they're into upon the earth, and people are just gonna laugh and think, "Oh, it's funny. Oh, that's bants. Bant. It's just a bit of banter. I was only having a laugh. Yeah, okay. You weirdos, man. They're weird, man. 
This is Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Edomites are accustomed to doing this kind of stuff, man. And Edomite will be getting married, right? And they'll go and wear, they'll go and wear their wife's dress. You know what I mean? These Edomites are just weirdos, man. They'll be about to get married and they'll be like, oh, I'm going to wear my wife's dress so that I get more than one use out of it. They're just bogged out, man. And I'm going to end the lesson there. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double understood the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. Shalom.